Good morning on this lovely January 17th, 2022. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I have started my day <laughs> uh, listening to several of his speeches. I was immediately struck by a speech entitled a, uh, a radical, what was it called? A radical revolution, radical revolution of values. Highly recommend checking that out. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, voter laws. Uh, I was just listening to NPR talking about how there's uh, several uh, Martin Luther King parades going on and they're, they've got the people with the megaphones out front in uh, favor of the Democratic National Convention's uh, bid for a change to voter laws. Uh, they want the federal government to take over state states' rights to vote to making the voter laws uh, so they can do all kinds of things, redistricting and allowing of mail-in ballots and absentee ballots and voter harvesting and yada, 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 yada. So they got people on the megaphones and doing the parades going, this is what democracy looks like, which I'm very familiar with, having worked for Free Speech TV and participated in untold numbers of uh, protests against uh, corporate the corporate takeover of America, um, which I'm not so op as opposed to, but opposed to in different ways or to different degrees. Because there's different, different, two different sides of capitalism, like there's two different sides of socialism and two different sides. There's people who are actually into the idealistic side of it, and then there's people who are just in it for themselves. Uh, which, I mean, I, it, it's a weird thing, too. The people being in it for themselves and people being in it for everyone is essentially two different ways of achieving the same goal, but it's... This seems to me, at least, so infinitely easier if we all just looked out for each other. Um, and then you wouldn't have to worry about looking out for yourself. But there's, the, I don't know, there's a lot of things that come into play. And it, it really hampers the whole thing up that we're all brainwashed to be slaves from the, <laughs> from the get-go. So that doesn't help anything. Anyway, regardless, let me break down this whole voter law fight for you. It's real simple, okay? Because it has absolutely nothing to do with the actual um, protection of America, the American citizen's right to vote. Okay, It doesn't matter if you're a Republican. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. Both sides are jockeying for power. Period. Okay, Everything being preached by the DNC, the Democratic National Convention right now, has to do with them maintaining power in the Senate and in, on Capitol Hill, blah, 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 blah. Everything the Republican National Convention do, is doing also just has to do with them gaining control of the Senate and Capitol Hill, yada, yada, yada. All right, that's all it is. Both sides are jockeying for power. Neither side gives a crap about actual democracy. Okay, if either of them did, they'd scrap the entire election system and they'd put the whole thing online so absolutely everybody has an equal chance at voting. In fact, honestly, I'm in favor of it being mandatory i mean I, it's absurd to me that you should be a citizen or a member of of a country and not participate in in the legislation legislative part of it i mean that's that's if you want your government to be a self-rule government where you know you're still in control of yourself then you have to participate and if you don't then you're just opening the door like i've said many times before to douchebags which is what we have now we have a Capitol Hill filled with douchebags. <laughs> they, you know, it's their choice. It's their right. I'm not judging them for being douchebags. <laughs> it's kind of a judgment to call them douchebags, but whatever. It gives a crap what I say. Anyway. But yeah, the, the whole thing should be put online so everyone has access to it. It should be immediately incorporated with blockchain technology so that, you know, there's no chance of any kind of cheating and everybody can actually see the record and actually, like, you know, see for themselves the numbers. And it, it, it would just remove, there's so many ways using current technology that we could remove all chance of cheating from voting. Nobody in Capitol Hill is interested in that, okay, because they all cheat. <laughs> <Duh. laughs> that's the only reason they're all still there okay because if there was any kind of fair real election in this country none of the people in office right now would be in office all right because the only people who vote for them and this is why the dnc thing is bullshit the only people who vote for the democrats and kind of the only people who still vote for the republicans 
to a certain lesser degree at the moment, but they're just either way. The more brain dead you are, the more of a couch potato you are, the more of a propaganda regurgitating dipshit you are, the more they want you to vote. <laughs> and that's who they're opening the vote up to. Brain dead, old, geriatric idiots who wouldn't lift a finger to vote if you don't shovel something in front of their face and say, check here, and then they fill in the rest for you. <laughs> Voter harvesting. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Voter laws. The media will never enter into it from that that point of view. They won't. That's why any news any news agency that isn't looking at it from the ass from the point of view I just presented isn't a real news agency. Okay, it's a propaganda machine for one party or the other. Let's see. Turns out the National Guard being deployed down on the border to help with the border control. I guess it's a mess down there. <laughs> Because the DNC's plan didn't work out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're going to have a border. You might as well have a wall. I say we don't need borders. But, you know, I'm just saying, if you're going to have one, <laughs> then you need to have a, you need to actually have one. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, if we're going to be a fascist Nazi nation, let's just get to it. All right. Let's just do it. <laughs> Because that's a, these are our choices right now, okay? If you go with the DNC, we're going to turn into communist China, and if you go with the RNC, we're going to turn into Nazi Germany. So pick your poison. Which one do you want? That's what that's what you get with the RNC and the DNC. The only way out of that is to just scrap all of them and do something else. <laughs> Anything short of that, those are your choices. We're either going to be a part of communist China, or we're going to become our own Nazi Germany. Which one do you want? Me. Eating my popcorn. I mean, if everybody woke up and was actively engaged in a thoughtful and sincere and rational manner, then I would. Back on stage, back on, you know, being pro-freedom and self-determination and yada, yada, yada. But people apparently like to be ruled by idiots. I don't know any other way to see it. Because there's no reason that it can exist without the majority of humanity submitting to it. And not by, he's like, oh, they're a force and they'll shoot you and blah, blah, blah. They can only shoot so many, okay? And after a while, the people doing the shooting are going to start to feel bad because they're killing their own fucking friends and family. It just, it can't, it will always break down any time the people actually just say, hey, we've had enough. And we've seen it so many times. They call them revolutions. But we're stupid, and we do these bloody revolutions, and you fight, and when you fight, people are reacting and thinking and working with animal instinct instead of rational instinct. It just makes more room for more disaster later on. That's all you end up doing. You can't fight it out. You gotta think it out. <laughs> Anyone who's for fighting is a dumbass. Or a really smart guy who's figured out what's really going on and is making a buck. And more power to those people. I used to hate on them, but frankly, BlackRock, you're brilliant. I can't get mad at you anymore. I can't get... It's like this this ad on... This um, post I was reading on article... Or on article. This post I was reading on Reddit. And uh, this one guy was making a comment on how Trudeau must be a moron doing this or that with the pandemic. And my response to him was... No, Trudeau's not a moron. Trudeau's brilliant. Trudeau knows exactly what he's doing. The people who keep electing him into office election after election and the people who sit idly by and do nothing about it, those are the morons. Okay? The people who submit to it and the people who sit idly by and let it happen, you're the idiots. You're the problem. It's not the leadership, it's not the elite. Okay, they're just making lem lemonade out of lemons. They look at the world. It's like, oh, my God, look at these fucking morons. They're just like praying to be used and abused. And it, 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 that's apparently just how the universe works. If like if you. Everything about your actions and persona scream, use and abuse me, the universe will send people to use and abuse you. And, and, and I can't get mad about it anymore. There's just I can't. There's no logical reason. 
for me to be upset with elites, self-proclaimed or otherwise, controlling things. I can't be upset about it because, generally speaking, we are all allowing it to be done. We are all inviting it. We're not just allowing it. We are inviting. Every time you sit down in front of the television or sit down in front of any video game, and I love games. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore video games. And they're so fun and they're so awesome. And I miss them so much right now. <laughs> but seriously, all right? At the moment, they are all filled with propaganda and agendas of one kind or another. And every time you sit down and you thoughtlessly allow yourself to view these and to, to ingest this data that they are just vomiting onto you nonstop, you are voluntarily, voluntarily brainwashing yourself. Every time you go to church and you sit down and you listen to that regurgitated garbage doctrine that teaches you that it's good to be a slave, you are voluntarily brainwashing yourself. Facts. Happy MLK Day, people. Love ya.